Sí. I want to be the best, simple and plain. There's a choice that we have to make as people, as individuals. If you want to be great at something, there's a choice that you have to make. We all can be uh, masters at our craft, but you have to make inherent sacrifices that come along with that. You know, people don't really understand how obsessed I am with winning. It's not, I don't care about anything else on a basketball court but winning. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's really um, simple. It's like, whatever you're doing at that moment, is what you're doing at that moment. <laughs> you know, it's like that's where the obsessiveness is having the attention to detail for the action that you are performing at the time you're performing it. And if you can have that kind of focus, you can't help but to have a certain level of, of, of obsession or attention to detail. My name Moving on. Is Kobe Bryant, 17 years old, with the hunger, the motivation, and the desire to be the best possible basketball player that I could be. Still waiting for a big smile out of you. You're up 2-0. What's the story? Are you not happy or you're only half happy or? Still to be happy about. You're up 2-0. Job's not finished. Job finished? No, I don't think so. Okay. Uh, I'm, I'm thinking about the next round. Mm -hmm. Already? Of course. You got at least five days. Did you not enjoy it just a little? I'm going to get close to the top of Mount Everest and just lay down and sleep for a week. Kobe, you won the MVP, you led the team to the finals. How do you characterize the season? Well, I mean, the goal was to win a championship. You know, it wasn't to win MVP or anything like that. It was to win a championship. So, you know, from that aspect, we failed. What is it about Detroit that gets you going like that? 04. You still remember it? Of course. Never forget. Is, is that really the motivating factor? Do you think that every time you come here, that, that championship you guys lost gets into your head? Absolutely. Two injuries is not think about them because when the game itself is more significant than the injury, you don't feel the injury. The injury won't get in the way because it's not important to you. you know, I just want it so bad, that's all. I just want it really bad. So, you know, it's just, uh, you, know, you just put everything you have into the game and then you know, your emotions kind of flow out of you. And that feeling of playing with that rage was new to me, but I fucking loved it. I had all this pent up frustration that I just I needed to let out. It was an avalanche, man. And, you know, I, there was nothing that was going to get in the way. It was nothing that was going to stop me. Sacrifice is a loaded word. I mean, it is, you have to make sacrifices every day in your life. If you have the ambition to reach your fullest potential in anything, you're going to have to have things that you inevitably give up. But to be honest, if they feel like sacrifices, you're probably not doing the thing that you were meant to do. <laughs> Basketball was the thing for me, so it didn't feel like I was sacrificing a normal life. From the perspective of the person that's actually living it, it's not a sacrifice at all. You're just doing what you want to do. And if you don't have that feeling, that sensation, then you're in the wrong field. It's the battle that's going on within me that I'm carrying with me to these competitions. So it's not about you. It's not about anybody else. You're not making me go. I'm, I'm, I'm driving this thing, man, and you just so happen to be a person that's in a way that's, you know, that may get demolished in the process. Seriously, can you be happy? Can you be happy playing this offense? Completely, totally happy, no. Mm -mm. But happy enough to win? Yeah. And that makes it all worth it. And that's good enough for me. What do you have to have inside to be a great one? That's tough, I mean, because everybody is different. Everybody's different and manifests itself in different ways. And I think at the core of us all, though, is it's the kind of that competitive drive and, you know, the obsession about the game. The most important thing to me was whether or not the player wanted to be here himself, right? And then when you're here, the most important thing is winning championships. I don't care about anything else. It's winning championships. I don't, we don't have to like each other, um, but you will show up to practice every day, play hard. You will focus and commit to winning. And, you know, if, if that's the case, then it would be just fine. Is your, is your plan just now treatment and see what happens Friday? Would you, would you think about going home? How do you feel about what you do, like, tonight and tomorrow? I don't know. I can't get my mind past the fact that I got to wait a year to get revenge. I got business to take care of high school. <laughs> I got business. A lot of teams that beat us 
in the past, now it's revenge. It's payback time. So I'm going to stay focused on that. I want to win a state championship. So uh, when the season rolls around, I'll be more focused than ever. As a team and as an individual, are you hungry enough? Oh, definitely. Oh, we're still starving. You know, the, the legacy that the Lakers have um, forces us to remain hungry. Uh, you know, Magic and Kareem were able to win back-to-back -back titles, uh, but yet they weren't able to three-peat. That's something that motivates us and keeps us going. A matter of if we can win the series, it's, it's, there, there is no other option. We have, we have to win it I don't, by any means necessary. Come hell or high water, we're going to get this thing done. You know, we were part of the, the history of the robbery, you know, and, and, and there's no way we could go down in history as being remembered as a team that lost twice to the Celtics. With all the history that's going on, right? And there's, there's no way. There's no way. So above even winning the fifth championship, it was more like not disappointing the memory of this organization and the, 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 the robbery that's been there for, for decades. That was more important. Last few seasons, you got to a point during the season where you're showing up to the arena and the games mean nothing. You're playing, you know, I, that's a horrible feeling to have. Horrible feeling to have. And so, you know, uh, I'm hell-bent on making sure that we don't have a season like that. You, know, you want to make sure that you're playing late in the season for games that actually mean something, for games that, you know, have uh, playoff implications. Yeah, I knew that I was not going to be stopped. You know, at the age of 18, this was my life. Right? So you can't possibly become better than me because you're not spending the time on it that I do. Even if you want to spend the time on it, you can't because you have other things. You have other responsibilities that are taking you away from it. So I already won. A person that just that took no day for granted, you know what I mean? Like maximize his talent. That's extremely important. And you can have talent, but if you don't maximize it, if you're going to try to you know, study your craft, if your craft isn't the most important thing to you, then I feel like you're shortchanging yourself. And so if they can look at my career and say, you know what, he, he was obsessive about what he did and reached the highest level of his potential, um, I'll, be, I'll be very happy with that. Well, you know, I think uh, you know, the, the focus and the intensity that you have to have um, you know, one through 14, you know, everybody has to be focused, everybody has to be ready to go. And, um, you know, you have to, you have to play with that sense of urgency on every possession. Well, you asking that question when you won the championship, 2000, 2001, 2002, your three P. what questions were you asking yourself during that time? How can we win another one? Because mm. every year, every time you win a championship, the next time you come back, it's always hard. People are always gunning for you. So you, are you going to avoid surgery altogether until you absolutely have to? Or? I tell you what, you win a championship, I ain't going to I'm not touching <laughs> Darn thing, leave him alone. <laughs> Kobe, Every, turning. Normally in New York, you know, I'll go out to dinner and you know, I'll see a couple of my friends or whatever. But that night before the game, I didn't go anywhere. You know, I sat in the room and uh, I thought about the game. You know, I wasn't going to be playing around. I'll come out here on, on the court tomorrow. I don't care who's hurt. This season, we are winning this damn championship. I don't care what happens. And uh, that was the mentality. In fact, when O'Neal was suspended over an on-court incident this year, Bryant wore Shaq's number and took his game to another level, scoring 56 points in three quarters. Count it again for Kobe Bryant. Was that a statement? It was a statement. I, you know. That's the most upset I've ever been in a basketball game. You, because you at one time maybe felt like people said, oh, you only win because Shaq is your teammate. And then that drove now, you, know, you to... I never, I, I, didn't, I, didn't, I never cared about when other people said that. It never bothered me that people said, well, you only win championships because you're playing with Shaq. It bothered me when he said it. You understand? So when he said it, I said, okay, you know what? That's it, because you know what time it is. After we split apart, were you trying to get more, more championships than me? Oh, absolutely. You were? Absolutely. And I knew you were going to get one. I knew you were going to get one because of the energy, you know, going into Miami and D-Wade and everything that was there, I knew you were going to get that one. So I knew I had to get at least two or three. I wanted you to get that because I needed that. I wanted that. Like, I wanted people to say, see, see, this is what they're missing here. This is what they gave up for. Right? Kobe should have been the one to go. Now he's in Miami, he's winning. I, I, like, I needed that, I wanted that. I wanted everybody to hate me. I wanted to fuel off of that and just come back with so much anger and so much vengeance. 
So I wanted that. So when you won, um, right after you won, I went out to the track and I ran. And I did my conditioning, I did my drills, I woke up the next morning, I hit my weights, I did my thousand shots, I did everything humanly possible to get myself ready. But I, I was, I needed it. I was like, all right, yeah, good. Actually, after I got drafted, um, you, know, you have to go in, you have to do your calls. Mm -hmm. You know, so I go in and I do a call and I speak to a representative uh, from the organization at the time. And they said, you know, they told me that, you know, they were looking to move me because they really didn't have any use or need for me. Mm -hmm. I said, they didn't have any use for you even though they traded you for Vlade Diva. Well, you know, I was, at the time, I mean, I was, you know, 17 years old and, mm -hmm. and I heard that and I was like, okay. Mm -hmm. I know what I'm going to be doing every day this summer. Mm -hmm. All what was day that? this summer. Train my butt up. Mm -hmm. You know, because when I hear stuff like that, I mean, that's just automatically just telling me you can't do something. You can't, you know, we don't need you. I said, okay. Yeah, it's a whole nother year. I'm not, you know, we did last year. It was great, but it's, it's not that <laughs> difficult to me. Just forget about it and move on to the next season. It's win it, it's win it again. I think you've said this before, but was 2010 the most important yep. championship? No question about it. No question about it. No question. Because to lose that one and to be 0-2 to the Celtics, that's... That is that is non-negotiable. You cannot do that. I've seen a lot more of that face this season. The <sighs> is that because of the challenges? Well, yeah. I mean, that, that's it's the it's the drive, it's the rage that comes out. You know, when when that face happens, that that's that's the rage boiling over. How often does that rage boil over? It it, ha it happens. It's been happening pretty you know uh, pretty often lately. Well, I, I think it's just you know it's just a matter of what's important to you. Mm -hmm. What's important to you? For, for whatever reason, you know, I, I felt like um, I didn't feel good about myself if I wasn't doing everything I could to be the best version of myself. Mm -hmm. If I felt like I left anything on the table, um, it would eat away at me. I wouldn't be able to look myself in the mirror. Right? So the reason why I can retire now and be completely comfortable about it because I know that I've done everything I could to be the best basketball player I could be. Mm -hmm. Um, it might not be a you know a sexy topic for everybody here to listen to. Right. Yeah. That's a critical part because you guys want to win a sixth championship. You got to understand that the recovery things that I do, this stuff. I mean, it's cutting edge. I mean, it's it's you have to be obsessive about the process. But like for you, would it have driven you crazy without you know going to the Olympics? Now you have something else to focus on besides what happened in the finals. It helps. It helps. It gives me something else to focus on and and, and take my competitiveness out. On. And, um, but you know, I'm, I bounce back pretty quickly. You know, not to say that uh, the loss doesn't sting because it doesn't and, and it will. But you know, I, I, I get back up quickly and, and move on to the next one and start thinking about revenge. No, you, you want to win. And yeah. It's, it's, it's really, uh, it's hard, man. It's hard to be in that environment when you know we're literally like at the bottom of the league. Well, you're welcome to come hang out here. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. It's I, tough. I saw a clip today that I, f I feel like I have to show you because I, I, must, I must know what your reaction to this okay. is. So the Lakers had uh, an eight-game losing streak. Uh -huh. They beat the Celtics. Uh -huh. Overtime. Great. This is from after that game. This got interesting. Hey, come back of course, I'll tell you guys friends you here. You feel me? We back in the building. Y'all thought we was gone. My man Jay Lynn was doing his thing. Jay Hill doing his thing. Nick, I, Nick, I did hit his free throws. You know how he do it. You know, Jay Lynn going to the basket like he ain't nothing to him but to do it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, my man, you got a nice suit on today, too, man. Appreciate that, Swag. You got that. Wow. <laughs> now, would that happen if you were there? Would there be a celebration? <laughs> like in the game where you turn and you look at somebody like, dude, for real? Come on. Oh, that that face. That face. Uh, well, yeah, that face is a is a that's that's the pissed off. What are you doing? Get your ass in gear. <laughs> face, you know, which. Um, I guess it's kind of been labeled as the death stare around here, I guess. Right, the death stare. What's the, what's the Kobe death stare like? I, I, I Honestly, I don't know. I, half the time, I don't even know I'm doing it. It's, it's just an uncontrollable thing. It's just... A... <laughs> 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 I 